No one is talking about what is going on in Antarctica right now and it blows my mind that people are just not aware. So a couple of days ago, these satellite images mysteriously appear on the internet and they are said to be that of a frozen mysterious ship in Antarctica. And since then, there has been a quarrel over the actual rights to Antarctica. Mind you, Antarctica is one of the few places that every country has agreed to stay away from. Now, it looks like they're trying to undo that for some weird reason. The Antarctic Treaty was signed on the 1st of December in 1959 by 12 nations that have been active during the IGY, which included Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Chile, France, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, United States, United Kingdom, and the USSR. And this, uh, this treaty was very short, but they said it was very effective with keeping people out of Antarctica. And the treaty said that it should not be used by any nation and that it will not be the scene or object of internal disorder. And here are the 14 stipulations of the treaty that came from the article. And the first one stipulates that Antarctica should be used exclusively for peaceful purposes, military activities, such as the establishment of military bases or weapon testings are uh, specifically prohibited. So they cannot put military bases or even test weapons in Antarctica, which is huge considering what they do in America nowadays. It also says that it promotes international scientific cooperation, including the exchange of research plans and personnel and requires that results of research be made freely available. It also prohibits nuclear explosion and the disposal of radioactive waste. Whatever is in Antarctica, they are trying to protect and preserve it. Yet, yeah, as of today, here is Iran that is now saying that that Antarctica, all that preservation is their property and they are ready to explore it. Iran's Navy commander said that we have property rights in the South Pole. We have planned to raise our flag to carry out military and scientific work, along with a long laundry list of other things they plan to do. But what's so crazy is I don't understand where all this is coming from. And I don't think if you guys remember when this picture came out, they tried so hardly to deny that this was a ship in Antarctica. Well, look at it. That's literally a ship. Not only that, but there is this Norwegian cruise that was said to stop in Antarctica and they literally canceled it mid fucking cruise on the itinerary. It was a 14 day itinerary. And all of a sudden they said, nope, we're not going to Antarctica. We got to drive right past it.